French phonology, Wikipedia audio. French phonology is the sound system of French. This article discusses mainly the phonology of standard French of the Parisian dialect. Notable phonological features include its uvular R, nasal vowels, and three processes affecting word final sounds, liaison, a specific instance of sandy in which word final consonants are not pronounced unless they are followed by a word beginning with a vowel, elision in which certain instances of slash e trademark slash are elided and in chair registered trademark nement in which word final and word initial consonants may be moved across a syllable boundary, with syllables crossing word boundaries. An example of the various processes is this. Phonetic Notes Consonants Although double consonant letters appear in the orthographic form of many French words, geminate consonants are relatively rare in the pronunciation of such words. The following cases can be identified. The pronunciation is found in the future and conditional forms of the verbs courir and mourir. The conditional form il maur rate, for example, contrasts with the imperfect form il morite. Other verbs that have a double i ray copyright orthographically in the future and conditional are pronounced with a simple il pura, il vera. Written, set obscure clarta copyright key to um de a copyright toiles, meaning, this dim light which falls from the stars in isolation, together. When the prefix in combines with a base that begins with N, the resulting word is sometimes pronounced with a geminate and similarly for the variants of the same prefix im, il, ir. Other cases of optional gemination can be found in words like syllabi, grammar, and illusion. The pronunciation of such words, in many cases, a spelling pronunciation varies by speaker and gives rise to widely varying stylistic effects, cited in Fagil, Kibbe and Jenkins in particular, the gemination of consonants other than the liquids and nasal slash mnle slash is generally considered affected or pedantic. Examples of stylistically marked pronunciations include addition and intelligence. Gemination of doubled M and N is typical of the Languedoc region, as opposed to other southern accents. A few cases of gemination do not correspond to double consonant letters in the orthography. The deletion of word internal schwas, for example, can give rise to sequences of identical consonants, la da don, el honeteta copyright. Gemination is obligatory in such contexts. The elided form of the object pronoun L can optionally be realized as a geminate when it appears after a vowel. Finally, a word pronounced with emphatic stress can exhibit gemination of its first syllable initial consonant. Slash N, T, D slash R laminal denti alveolar, while slash S, Z slash are dentalized laminal alveolar, pronounced with the blade of the tongue very close to the back of the upper front teeth, with the tip resting behind lower front teeth, word final consonants are always released. Generally, slash B, D, E slash are voiced throughout and slash P, T, K slash Arun is pirated slash. L slash is usually apical alveolar but sometimes laminal denti alveolar. Before slash F, E slash, it can be realized as ret reflex, in current pronunciation, slash E superscript 2 slash is merging with slash New Jersey slash dot, the velar nasal slash A slash is not a native phoneme of French, but it occurs in loan words such as camping, bingo, or kung fu. Some speakers who have difficulty with this consonant realize it as a sequence or replace it with slash e superscript 2 slash dot, the approximants slash j, en, 
w slash correspond to the close vowels slash i, y, u slash. While there are a few minimal pairs, there are many cases where there is free variation, some dialects of French have a palatal lateral slash slash, but in the modern standard variety, it has merged with slash j slash dot, fagil, kibi and Jenkins see also glides and diphthongs, below. The French rhotic has a wide range of realizations, the voiceless or voiced uvular fricatives and, the uvular trill, the alveolar trill, and the alveolar tap. These are all recognized as the phoneme slash r slash, but all accept and are considered dialectal. Is the standard consonant. Although the voiceless is pronounced before or after a voiceless obstruent or at the end of a sentence, the voiced symbol is often used in phonemic transcriptions. See French guttural R and map at right, velar slash K slash N slash E slash may become polytalist to N before slash I, E, E slash, and more variably before slash A slash. Word final slash K slash may also be polytalist to. Velar palatalization has traditionally been associated with working class, though recent studies suggest it is spreading to more demographics of large French cities. Many words in French can be analyzed as having a latent final consonant that is pronounced only in certain syntactic contexts when the next word begins with a vowel. For example, the word do slash does slash is pronounced in isolation or before a consonant initial word two days, but in do a n s slash does e a euro e slash, the linking or liaison consonant slash z slash is pronounced. Standard French contrasts up to 13 oral vowels and up to 4 nasal vowels. The schwa is not necessarily a distinctive sound. Even though it often merges with one of the mid-front rounded vowels, its patterning suggests that it is a separate phoneme. In a copyright E, immortal E E T E L, illisible is a blue, irresponsible E S P E say blue. Geminates. In contrast with the mid vowels, there is no 10 C euro lax contrast in close vowels. However, Non-phonemic lacs appear in the Quebec and Cajun varieties as allophones of slash i, y, u slash when the vowel is both phonetically short and in a closed syllable, so that e.g. petite small differs from petit small not only in the presence of the final slash t slash but also in the tenseness of the slash i slash. Laxing is obligatory only in stressed closed syllables but also found in other environments to various degrees. In Parisian French, slash i, u slash are consistently close, but the exact height of slash y slash is somewhat debatable as it has been variously described as close and near close. Although the mid-vowels contrast in certain environments, there is limited distributional overlap so they often appear in complementary distribution. Generally, close mid-vowels are found in open syllables, and open mid-vowels are found in closed syllables. However, there are minimal pairs. Beyond the general rule, known as the loi de position among French phonologists, there are some exceptions. For instance, Slash o slash n slash a slash are found in closed syllables ending in, and only is found in closed monosyllables before, and. The phonemic opposition of slash e slash n slash e slash has been lost in the southern half of France, where these two sounds are found only in complementary distribution. The phonemic oppositions of slash e slash n slash o slash n of slash a slash n slash a slash in terminal open syllables have been lost in all of France, but not in Belgium, where pot and po are still opposed as slash pe slash n slash po slash.
the phonemic contrast between front slash a slash and back slash e slash is sometimes not maintained in standard French, which leads some researchers to reject the idea of two distinct phonemes. However, the distinction is still clearly maintained in other dialects such as Quebec French. While there is much variation among speakers in France, a number of general tendencies can be observed. First of all, the distinction is most often preserved in word final stressed syllables such as in these minimal pairs. Liaison Vowels There are certain environments that prefer one open vowel over the other. For example, Slash e slash is preferred after slash e w slash and before slash z slash. J e l a i v u e v i l f o l a t trapper eight ape. Close vowels. Mid vowels. Open vowels. Nasal vowels. Schwa. The difference in quality is often reinforced by a difference in length. The exact distribution of the two vowels varies greatly from speaker to speaker. Formidable, a copyright po vantable. Backslash e slash is much rarer in unstressed syllables, but it can be encountered in some common words. Open mid slash e slash and close mid slash e slash contrast in final position open syllables, alight, versus ala copyright, likewise, open mid slash e slash and slash a slash contrast with close mid slash o slash and slash a slash mostly in closed monosyllables, such as these, jeun, versus jeni, rock, versus rock, roads versus R A to lurk, Paul, V S, Paul, Bone, V S, Bone. Morphologically complex words derived from words containing stressed slash e slash do not retain it. That is usually the case when it follows a single consonant in a medial syllable, rappeller slash e ape trademark l e slash a. It is most frequently mute in word final position, table slash table slash a dot, word final schwas are optionally pronounced if preceded by two or more consonants and followed by a consonant initial word, unport ferma copyright e slash y n p e e t f e e me slash a f e e me dot, in the future and conditional forms of e r verbs, however. The schwa is sometimes deleted even after two consonants, two guard rice slash tie e a e to trademark e e slash a e e, news brusque ron slash new b is trademark e e slash a e e dot. On the other hand, it is pronounced word internally when it follows more pronounced consonants that cannot be combined into a complex onset with the initial consonants of the next syllable. Greeton slash e e trademark de slash a, September petties slash s e t p e trademark t i slash a. Length Even in the final syllable of a word, backslash e slash may become if the word in question loses its stress within the extended phonological context. The phonetic qualities of the back nasal vowels are not very similar to those of the corresponding oral vowels, and the contrasting factor that distinguishes slash e slash and slash e slash is the extra lip rounding of the latter according to some linguists, but other linguists have come to the conclusion that the main difference is in tongue height. Speakers who produce both slash a slash and slash e slash distinguish them mainly through increased lip rounding of the former, but many speakers use only the latter phoneme, especially most speakers in northern France such as Paris. In some dialects, particularly that of Europe, there is an attested tendency for nasal vowels to shift in a counterclockwise direction. Slash e slash tends to be more open and shifts toward the vowel space of slash e slash. Slash e slash rises and rounds to and slash e slash shifts to or.
Also, there also is an opposite movement for slash e slash for which it becomes more open and unrounds to, resulting in a merger of standard French slash e slash and slash e slash in this case. In Quebec French, two of the vowels shift in a different direction, slash e slash a, more or less as in Europe, but slash e slash a and slash e slash a. When phonetically realized, schwa, also called iei copyright katek and iei copyright muet, is a mid-central vowel with some rounding. Many authors consider it to be phonetically identical to. Jeff Lindsay suggests the symbol iei copyright. Fagil, Kibbe and Jenkins state, more specifically, that it merges with slash a slash before high vowels and glides. In phrase final stressed position. And that it merges with elsewhere. However, some speakers make a clear distinction, and it exhibits special phonological behavior that warrants considering it a distinct phoneme. Furthermore, the merger occurs mainly in the French of France, in Quebec. Slash a slash n slash e trademark slash are still distinguished. The main characteristic of French schwa is its instability, the fact that under certain conditions it has no phonetic realization. Devoicing Pronouncing as is a way to emphasize the syllable. For instance, pronouncing biberon instead of is a way to draw attention to the e. In French versification, word final schwa is always elided before another vowel and at the ends of verses. It is pronounced before a following consonant initial word. For example, un grande femme fut ici, would be pronounced, with the slash e trademark slash at the end of each word being pronounced. Slash o slash, slash a slash slash e slash, and the nasal vowels are lengthened before any consonant, pasent t, shante, all vowels are lengthened if followed by one of the consonants slash v slash, slash z slash, slash e slash, slash e slash, or by the cluster slash v e slash, mare slash mari, kreis, lever, tranel however. Words such as servant serve or tart are pronounced with short vowels since the slash e slash appears in clusters other than slash v e slash. Elision Schwa cannot normally be realized as a front vowel in closed syllables. In such contexts in inflectional and derivational morphology, schwa usually alternates with the front vowel slash e slash. Say parfaitement vrai, say parfaitement vrai. A e f e t m e v e e. A three way alternation can be observed, in a few cases, for a number of speakers. Say a copyright pove antiable. You've tableau, say a copyright poventable epuvate blue, say a copyright poventable. Glides and diphthongs. Stress. Emphatic stress. Instances of orthographic IEI copyright that do not exhibit the behavior described above may be better analyzed as corresponding to the stable, full vowel slash a slash. The enclitic pronoun le, for example, always keeps its vowel in contexts like don a le moi slash da n e l e trademark moi slash a for which schwa deletion would normally apply, and it counts as a full syllable for the determination of stress. Cases of word internal stable iei copyright are more subject to variation among speakers, but, for example, Unrebel slash e e trademark b l slash a must be pronounced with a full vowel in contrast to unreben slash e e trademark b slash a or
except for the distinction still made by some speakers between slash e slash n slash e e slash in rare minimal pairs like metra versus ma registered trademark tre variation in vowel length is entirely allophonic vowels can be lengthened in closed stressed syllables under the following two conditions when such syllables lose their stress the lengthening effect may be absent the vowel of sote is long in regard cum el sote, in which the word is phrase final and therefore stressed, but not in chu estc chu el sote biat. In accents wherein slash ee slash is distinguished from slash e slash, however, it is still pronounced with a long vowel even in an unstressed position, as in as in fa tee in say un fa tee impertant. The following table presents the pronunciation of a representative sample of words in phrase final position. In Parisian French, the close vowels slash i, y, u slash and the mid front slash e, e slash at the end of utterances can be devoiced. A devoiced vowel may be followed by a sound similar to the voiceless palatal fricative. In Quebec French, Close vowels are often devoiced when unstressed and surrounded by voiceless consonants. Though a more prominent feature of Quebec French, phrase medial devoicing is also found in European French. The final vowel of a number of monosyllabic function words is elided in syntactic combinations with a following word that begins with a vowel. For example, Compare the pronunciation of the unstressed subject pronoun, in J E doors slash E trademark de E slash, and in J arrive slash E A Euro A E four slash. The glides, and appear in syllable onsets immediately followed by a full vowel. In many cases, they alternate systematically with their vowel counterparts, and such as in the following pairs of verb forms. The glides in the examples can be analyzed as the result of a glide formation process that turns an underlying high vowel into a glide when followed by another vowel, slash ni slash a. This process is usually blocked after a complex onset of the form obstruent and liquid. For example, while the pair lui slash lauer shows an alternation between and, the same suffix added to clue a word with a complex onset, does not trigger the glide formation, clue or some sequences of glide and vowel can be found after obstruent liquid onsets, however. The main examples are, as in plui, and. They can be dealt with in different ways, as by adding appropriate contextual conditions to the glide formation rule or by assuming that the phonemic inventory of French includes underlying glides or rising diphthongs like slash e n i slash n slash w a slash. Glide formation normally does not occur across morpheme boundaries in compounds like semi aride. However, in colloquial registers, SIL can be pronounced just like seal, or two is like twa killed. The glide can also occur in syllable coda position, after a vowel, as in solile. There again, one can formulate a derivation from an underlying full vowel slash i slash, but the analysis is not always adequate because of the existence of possible minimal pairs like pays slash pay and a bay slash abail. Shan proposes an abstract analysis deriving post-vocalic from an underlying lateral bipalatalization and glide conversion. Word stress is not distinctive in French, so two words cannot be distinguished on the basis of stress placement alone. In fact, grammatical stress is always on the final full syllable of a word. Monosyllables with schwa as their only vowel are generally clitics but otherwise may receive stress. The difference between stressed and unstressed syllables in French is less marked than in English. Vowels in unstressed syllables keep their full quality, 
regardless of whether the rhythm of the speaker is syllable-timed or mora-timed. Moreover, words lose their stress to varying degrees when pronounced in phrases and sentences. In general, only the last word in a phonological phrase retains its full grammatical stress. Emphatic stress is used to call attention to a specific element in a given context such as to express a contrast or to reinforce the emotive content of a word. In French, this stress falls on the first consonant initial syllable of the word in question. The characteristics associated with emphatic stress include increased amplitude and pitch of the vowel and gemination of the onset consonant, as mentioned above. Emphatic stress does not replace, but occurs in tandem with, grammatical stress. For words that begin with a vowel, emphatic stress falls on the first syllable that begins with a consonant or on the initial syllable with the insertion of a glottal stop or a liaison consonant. French intonation differs substantially from that of English. There are four primary patterns. Intonation Sources The continuation pattern is a rise in pitch occurring in the last syllable of a rhythm group, the finality pattern is a sharp fall in pitch occurring in the last syllable of a declarative statement, the yes-slash-no intonation is a sharp rise in pitch occurring in the last syllable of a yes-slash-no question. The information question intonation is a rapid fall off from high pitch on the first word of a non yes slash no question, often followed by a small rise in pitch on the last syllable of the question. <laughs>